It was very strange getting the call about the roof of the Flagstaff store falling in. You really don't quite know how to wrap your head around a call like that. My first question was, oh, there's a hole in the roof? No, it's more than that. We lost a corner? No, nope. it's a total loss. What the heck is a total loss? Very early in the morning, I got a call from Bob. And he said, he asked me if I knew the story had come down. I said, well, now I do officially now. It was actually very distressing to kind of see the front of the store just kind of fallen in. And if you looked in the windows, you could see that the, the displays had just been smashed flat. My first question was, was anyone in the store? And I was just so relieved that no one was. I was sad about the history of the place. Um, I was just concerned about what was going to happen. Everybody's life was up in the air. We're part of the Flagstaff family which made this whole thing even that much more painful. It's like a family member leaving because of some kind of emergency. That's what it's felt like. Once we finally were able to get in, the snow had let up and the fire department and the building department let us get in and we tried to salvage what was left, there was almost nothing left. Luckily, we had great insurance that kept our staff employed before we reopened the store and we had them do a lot of charity work. And uh, with the help of the Chamber of Commerce, we set up a temporary bookman's in a tent to begin to acquire inventory again for the reopening. We fondly refer to it as the Bookman's Traveling Circus. Uh, we don't have a permanent store, so we get to set up a tent every week. So it's a great chance to get new merchandise, get recent stuff, and again, just seeing people and hearing everybody say hey, how much they miss us, it feels really good, and get a chance to tell them how much we miss them. It's very nice too. And then the community outreach thing, I mean, being able to do story time, you know, keep our community partnerships with the schools instead of disappearing, that was really wonderful. And I think it gave all the employees a lot of energy. And so it was just, you know, it was the ideal situation under the circumstances. When we started the design process for a rebuild, it was interesting because it was a clean sheet of paper. It was like starting a brand new store that we had never had before. We were able to really incorporate all the design ideas that, that we've learned. A huge amount of people from Tucson and Phoenix and Flagstaff and even California friends of mine came to help. Busted tail to get this thing open again. It was a ton of work of 16 and 18 hour days and every day people working and working to get it to this point. We staged a lot of the store ourselves before we came here. And so moving in was really, I mean, we were pretty set. And everybody knows their department so well. Um, they work so well with each other that it just came together kind of like a puzzle. My favorite part of the new store is it's a, a well-oiled machine and I love how it works. I love how the layout works. It's very easy to drop off your books. It's very easy to find things. It holds a huge amount of people, yet it's still intimate. It really functions so well. On opening day, we've had all this beautiful weather. Opening day, it snows again, which I guess is appropriate that when we died in snow and were reborn in snow. And there were 90 people waiting outside in the snow to get in. How do you get a community so impassioned with what you're doing and how do you get the staff like I have that work so hard to get it open? It was an amazing experience. You know, there's the work and then there's the home and then there's here and I think for a lot of people this is that third place. You know, in a small town you have a couple of those that really matter to you and this has always been one of them. And again, our staff is still here and truly that's what makes a Bookman's store a Bookman's store. And our staff is amazing and they know their, their customers and we're looking forward to seeing everybody again. I'm in awe. I'm in awe of the people that work with me and I'm in awe of the people that shop with us. And I hope to continue to do this forever. I'm having a great time and I hope you are too.